हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय न्यू वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज आई हैव अ रनिंग एप्लीकेशन वेयर आई नीड टू ऐड सम मोर फीचर्स इनटू दैट एप्लीकेशन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ वी विल हाउ वी विल ऐड सम फीचर्स टू एन एक्जिस्टिंग एप्लीकेशन सो before i am going further i will explain where i am right now so the thing is like i have a i have an application i named that application as a api service so basically for all of my uh, application back and include in that api service like i am a, uh, i usually write blogs not not the personal or uh, any other blogs just uh, technical blogs and also i thought i will add all of my youtube video related things into a blog so people can use my blog to get github link for uh, for some course or something that will benefit everyone right so that's why i started a blog recently so if you guys going to that blog you guys can see some blogs actually it's in a development stage that's why i am showing this video here since i need to add some additional feature so this is my blog and i add some blogs here and the people can see the blogs uh, with this link so the problem is i add some tags here so whenever a person clicking on this one of these tags tags i need to show all the links all the blogs that actually related to that particular tag so here i add there a description and also a yes, short description tags title so uh, this blog currently in a development stage i am adding so many features and it's uh, it's right now it's not in a uh, production status but actually it's available for anyone but the thing is like it's not in a standardized way of presenting the things i mean the blog is not in up to the standard so the thing is like i need to add some searching functionality or filtering functionality how i will that i will add that that's a question so if i am clicking on this one it should list all the java related things here so that's my requirement so for that requirement i need to have a back end api search api so that's a scenario we are trying to address here so i actually tried something with uh, uh, something with uh, actual uh, something with the jpa queries so if i need to get something using find out by tag or something i can get here that here but my purpose is like i need to get uh, i need to get the things based on the search i mean if if i am using java somewhere around here in title or in short description or in the description i need to get that blogs also in this list if i am just clicking on the java not only the tag tag with the java um, but also the other title short description description should include in that list that's a really recommend uh, for this search api so i search so many solution and ultimately i reach on criteria query so criteria query will give 
so many opportunities to add custom queries. So in criteria for query, there is one JPS specification. So using that JPS specification, we can customize our we can customize our criteria queries. So in this video, we are going to we are going to discuss about that criteria query. So the title of this video is like search filter Rust API using Spring Data JP and specification. And we will see how we will use the JPS specification in this scenario. So I need to have a specification class here. If I I am using I have a model class here, the blog one. There's a model class and I have blog repository only two methods find all and find all by tag and I have blog services that's actually get all blogs paginator blog D, DAO and add blog update blog so so many things so here I add a new method that actually have a search search like search is equal to java or something like that or tag is equal to java or something like that so we need to go to the jps specification right now so i need to create a service class here for jps specification so i would like to add that as a blocks specification so block specification then oh, something bad happened here mm, not an issue rename i will change into a blog specification okay so blog specification i guess it, this this is the exact name so i need to implement jps specification actually this blog specification will be in repository place i guess women repository package i'm not sure uh, but implements here i missed something here implements specification and i need to mention the specification class so specification model so this is model and we'll ask to implement some method so i just implement that here in this method what we will do that's the thing actually that's actually that that will make our search criteria so to predicate it will accept root and a criteria query and a criteria builder so i need to take yeah so wait for my next video so i will continue because right now it's almost eight minutes so tune for my next video we will continue from here to predicate to predicate actually so we just add a jps specification here so if you are just checking here java x persistence criteria builder specification where it's mentioned jpa domain specification Okay, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.